In this video, we're gonna be breaking down the best U-Trips defense in the game. How do you stop U-Trips? We're gonna teach you how to do that in this video. Now, if you guys want to get my full dollar 326, we're gonna be talking about that formation. It is found in the Kansas City or the 46 playbook. Those are the two best playbooks for this defense. You can find it in some other ones. But if you're running dollar, you wanna be in Kansas City or 46, in my opinion. And if you want to learn how I run dollar 326, make sure that you get our D dollar defensive ebook. We released it yesterday. Um, we've got a ton of great reviews on this defense. We kind of put our spin on a very popular defense, but we showed you some very simple and subtle little tweaks to make it really, really powerful. And we also did a ton uh, of formation specific breakdowns, how to adjust to U trips when they motion, how to adjust from, to bunch whenever they're um, throwing corner routes or C routes, how to stop, uh, we're working on how to stop the run, or we showed how to stop the run out of dollar. Anyways, bottom line is you want my full defensive ebook, make sure you're in our Patreon. Patreon members get access to all of our ebooks and all of our updates to those ebooks we've got 13 offensive and defensive ebooks right now in the patreon that you can get access to by becoming a member today again it's only 10 bucks to sign up if you want to check it out so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how i like to defend utrips uh formation utrips is a very very powerful offense this year um it's very simple or um it's not even necessarily simple i think it's actually very uh, complicated to run this at a high level we do have a utrips ebook out but anyways um how how do you how do you stop this formation or what's the best way to stop this formation really um what we're going to show you today is my favorite way to defend it okay um so i'm going to set the scat play as an audible but we're going to first primarily focus in on y option wheel as i think this is one of the better concepts in the formation so we're going to be coming out in spinner we just want to make sure that we have this set to base i do think it is really important to have this on play receiver um, to help with ag catches and then you can put match on if you want okay so we're coming out in spinner and let me let me put devin white in um and let's get on the field okay how do you stop u trips so you see here this is kind of the default if you base line, this is what it looks like so uh what we what i want to show you is something really important so if i was to man up this safety on godwin i want you to watch what happens you'll notice that nothing happens and then if i man up this guy on the running back you'll notice he moves all the way outside and then if i press you notice that they both move okay um, the problem with that is that's kind of an obvious tell to your opponent, kind of what you're doing. So, uh, what would they do in response to that? Well, they might know, uh, maybe they have an idea of a good route, uh, to hit, hit you with maybe something like a corner route to the left side. So they run a corner route. You don't have outside leverage and you're able to, you know, maybe hit you in a corner route. So how do we disguise this a little better? Okay. Uh, what I, we're going to do is we're going to base align, And when we unbase align the defense, you're going to see it looks like this. From there, um, we now have the tight end cross manned on the left side. So what I like to do um, is basically this. We're going to go ahead and just simply hard flat this linebacker, and we're going to blitz um, five. And our job is if the running back goes on a route, we're going to go guard him. So the running back goes on a route, we're going to go guard him. It's really that simple. And, and, and this defense, you, you know, again, it's a really simple setup. But watch how fast this blitz comes in. You're going to notice we're going to get instantaneous pressure off of either edge. And again, if the running back goes out, we just go out. And you see how fast the pressure is coming in. By that time, they're sacked, um, typically. It's hard to uh, beat this defense, okay? Now, if they are sending their running back out all the time, I'm going to show you a really simple adjustment that you can make. And that is this. So they're sending their running back out consistently. And... We want to be able to just not have to worry about the running back. What you can do is this. You're going to man up that slot DB that is currently blitzing. You're just going to man him up on the running back. And then you're still going to drop your um, linebacker into a zone. Everything else is the same, but now the running back is going to be covered if he goes on a route. What you'll notice in Dollar and what makes Dollar so good is this is going to turn into a, a blitz that actually has pretty decent potential to come around the edge, as you see right there. So we're still able to lurk the middle, and we have everything covered up. Now, if we wanted to make this a little bit more of a fast blitz um, or faster blitz, what we can do is this adjustment where we basically take this corner on the left side and man him up on the running back. And then from there, we can do something like this little 
uh, kind of a cross man. And then if we want to have the tight end, we now are responsible for the tight end, though. There's nobody guarding the tight end, so we have to guard him. Um, and you're going to see right here, we guard the tight end, and you see how good this blitz is. And we're able to cover everything that they might be hitting us with. Okay, the big issue with U trips is the tight end though, and that's why I like to leave the tight end kind of cross manned um, because I, I want to bracket the, the tight end as best as I can. Um, you know, one thing, one other adjustment you can make that I actually think is really effective for U trips is we're going to take this middle linebacker and we're going to man him up onto Mike Evans, and then we're going to put that cornerback on the right side into an outside third. The reason this is a really effective adjustment is because if the tight end goes on a corner route, you could also put him on a cloud flat if you wanted to. Um, but if the tight end runs a corner route, now we have somebody over there that can help kind of bracket that. And then, again, we have the cross man from this safety. That's actually a very good adjustment this year. Uh, cross man is really powerful uh, this year. Anyways, if they block the running back, though, a lot of times you'll see we'll still be able to get pressure, and that's what makes Dollar so powerful. I think Dollar is really good because it gives you an extra player in coverage oftentimes where most formations you're gonna to have to send six to get two free and dollar you're only gonna to have to send five and then with that we're able to make more adjustments and better adjustments to defend kind of the most popular stuff people are doing so if you want to learn how to run this defense at a really high level make sure you join our patreon uh, it's just 10 bucks to sign up the link is in the description if you want to check it out thanks for watching the video and we hope to see you guys over at the Patreon page.